Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0012 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0012 code? Well, it's the intake A camshaft position timing over retarded bank one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer is seeing an issue with the timing and there's several components that control this so that to be looked at to know what the problem is. And so some of the things that could cause this would be a failed variable timing solenoid, a bad or failing valve timing actuator, the engine oil could be low, you could have a bad timing chain or timing belt, and things along these lines. And so the first thing to do is to go check the engine oil, be sure it's at the correct level, and check to see if it's really super dirty and hasn't been changed in a while because old dirty oil can cause issues. But mainly be sure it's got oil in it and that it's at the correct level because if you've got low engine oil, it could cause problems. And so the next thing to check would be the variable time timing solenoid. And this helps open up the cams more. It gives more lift at, when the engine running at different speeds. So it helps adjust the timing and the oil runs through this. And so if it gets clogged up or dirty or if it just fails, then it could cause issues with this problem. It's very common. And there's going to be two of these solenoids. And this one is pointing to the intake one, which is usually off to the left. But you're going to have to Google your particular engine since there can be some differences between the different engines and years and things like this. But this code is pointing towards the intake. So you have to check out the intake variable valve timing solenoid, which is usually off to the left. And it'll just be held in by one bolt and it'll slide out. One thing to mention is be sure to check this wiring since bad wiring or a bad connection, open short, anything like this, a blown fuse can cause the same issues as a bad solenoid. So be sure to check that out. And there's ways you can test the solenoid or you can go and replace it. I'll jump over on Amazon and give you an idea how much they cost. And right now they look like they're running around $24, $29. There's one for $56, $22. So they're not super high cost parts or nothing. And so many people would just go ahead and replace it. Again, you can test it if you want. There's some YouTube videos on that. But either test it or replace it and check out the wiring because that would be the next thing to check. And the next thing to check is going to be the cam position sensor. And there's likely going to be two of them. Again, you'll have to Google it for your particular Toyota to know for sure. But this will need to be checked out. You could test it or you can replace it. They're also low cost parts. They run around 30 to $50 in that range on Amazon or eBay or at an auto parts store. So they're not super high cost parts or nothing either. And again, check out the wiring. Be sure the wiring's good. Be sure that there's no open shorts, no blown fuses on the circuit, anything like that. But check out the cam position sensor and either test it or replace it. And the next thing is gonna be the timing belt or timing chain, which can vary on the Toyota, the engine type and the year. But if this slips, then it can cause this issue. It might have just slipped like one notch or something along these lines or just stretched too much and it might need to be replaced. So if you go through all these other steps and you do everything and you can't solve the problem, then it could be a bad timing belt or timing chain. And so what do you do if you have a Toyota with the P0012 code? Well, the first thing to do, check the oil. Be sure the oil level's good. Be sure it's not dirty because low oil can cause this issue and dirty oil can cause the same problem. So be sure the oil's good. Next up, go and check this variable valve timing control solenoid and be sure that it's good. Either test it or replace it. And be sure to check the wiring since the wiring can cause issues too. If you test that or replace it and that doesn't solve the issue, then go to the camshaft position sensor and you can test it also or replace it and also check the wiring. Again, wiring can cause issues. And if you do all that and it doesn't solve the issue, then the next thing to check is going to be the timing belt or the timing chain, depending on what your vehicle has. Since if it gets stretched out or if it skips one of these notches or something along those lines, it could cause issues. And those would be the main fixes for a Toyota with the P0012 code. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick basic overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0012 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.